Hello everybody and welcome to Hacker Tools, the series in which we discuss all the tools you can use on your bug bounty journey. In this video we will be talking about Equitone, the tool that allows you to visualize your attack surface. Without further ado, let's get going. On any website we visit, we're stuck in a net of security measures keeping us from doing whatever we want. Bug bounty programs give us a unique opportunity to attempt to slip through that net. However, whilst being focused on fine-grained hunting, we can often lose sight of the bigger picture. Now this week we're going to discover how Equitone can help us with that. But first of all, we need to know what Equitone is. Now Equitone is a tool that allows the inspection of websites across a large number of hosts in a visually pleasing way. It is convenient for quickly gaining an overview of the HTTP-based attack surface. Now, there are a lot of tools out there that will give us a list of subdomains, such as Amass, GoBuster, Sublister, Fierce, and Subfinder. And these lists are amazing, and preferably, we would want to go through each target in a very fine-grained manner, but sadly, that often isn't possible. We therefore quickly need to be able to group these endpoints and find the ones that look the most promising to us. We're in luck, because that's exactly what Equitone can offer us. It will take our targets, quickly scan popular post ports used by HTTP services, and take a screenshot of the resolved web page. Following, it will give us a nice overview that allows us to view the targets in a list or in a graph view. We can then look at which pages are identical and which aren't, we can explore the headers returned for each endpoint and much more. I'm very excited to jump straight into this tool, but first of all let's really quickly cover how we need to install this tool. So it's been made extremely straightforward for us. Uh, we only need a couple of things. First of all, we need Chrome or Chromium as a browser installed, and this is being used in a headless way to take the screenshots of the resolved pages. Then secondly, we need to install the release, the Equitone release from the GitHub page and unzip that file. And now we have the Equitone binary on our file system and we can get started with this amazing tool. Learning by reading the documentation is great, but what better way to discover a tool's power than by actually using it? First things first, what do we need to start playing around with Equitone? Well, as detailed earlier, we're going to need a list of targets to scan and visualize. Note that you don't need to give it a structured list, such as shown here. Equitone will match patterns in your input and extract URLs, domains and IP addresses that way. So it's perfect for when you've already used other tools to do the reconnaissance, and then you pipe those results into Equitone for viewing and assessing the found endpoints. Input done. Time to run Equitone. Pipe your input into the Equitone binary as such. So we cat or hosts.txt file in this case, and then we run sudo Equitone and a path to your Equitone binary. Now the magic starts happening. We firstly see that it starts to perform some simple port scans on the targets, and these ports that it scans can be defined by arguments, but more on that later. After that, it will take a look at the HTTP responses and see if we got a 200, a 404, or a 500 back. And from that, it will then take a screenshot of these rendered responses. And that's it. When Equitone is done with all of that, you still get a quick laydown of the number of requests sent and such. But now you're done. Your report has been created. Now, before we look into analyzing the report, let's take a quick glance at some of the command line options that we can supply to Equitone. A lot of these options are very, very self-explanatory. These include dash debug, dash proxy, dash threads, and dash version. However, there are some more options for you to play around with. Firstly, let's talk about the dash ports option. This option allows you to choose which ports will be scanned. You can supply a comma separated list or use one of the supported aliases, so small, medium, large or x-large. And for more information on these, visit the repository and read the readme file. Secondly, the nmap option is also very interesting. This option should be used if your input comes from nmap or mass scan, and this allows Equitone to better parse that input. 
Now to conclude this section, there are many options and ways for you to make equity on your own. Uh, I would su suggest you to take a look around, see what you need to do to integrate this amazing tool into your workflow. To look at the results, open the generated equitone underscore report dot html file in your favorite browser. My favorite way of doing it is by using a Python web server, uh, so open that with python 3 m http dot server 80 and we can then open the report. Now on the first page you see all different pages sorted by similarity. This view is incredibly useful to quickly see which targets host the same files limiting the number of targets you may need to hunt on. So in this case, we can see how it grouped app.integrity.com and www.integrity.com because they are the same page. Now each individual block details an endpoint and that also gives us a quick view of the screenshot as well as some extra information such as the technology is being used. In this case, for example, it detects that Angular is being used. Now you can click the view details button to get a closer look at the headers and the responses sent by the server and this way you can assess an endpoint in seconds. Additionally, we can also take a look at a graph linking all the endpoints together. This way we can very quickly see which endpoints are using, for example, Angular or Nginx or any other technology. Furthermore, we can see which IP addresses correspond to which targets and more. Use this graph to explore the HTTP attack surface of your targets. As a bug bounty expert, you need to look for tiny mistakes in huge internet spaces. Losing track of the bigger picture could potentially cause you to miss out on a huge bounty, so I suggest always having this graph in the back of your mind. Just to get an overview of what you're hunting on, what is similar to it, and where you could go next. To conclude, today we took a look at Aquatone, the one-stop tool for organizing your targets. With its easy way of looking at them, you'll never be in a place where you don't know where to start again. Boot up your machine and get hunting because millions of unclaimed bounties are awaiting you. Now if you would like to recommend a tool for us to cover next week, then be sure to let us know down below in the comments. Also be sure to check out all the previous Hacker Tools articles, such as the last one on CyberChef. The links to those can be found down below in the description. I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope to see you back next week.